Hey there film fans, today I'm going to talk to you about Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. You may notice I'm not in my normal location and that's because I'm currently flying off to Florida to see some lovely friends and then to do some lovely work. Um, there's actually a joke in the film about how rubbish Florida is but I'm hoping that's not true because I've never been before so well, I've been to Miami very briefly. Anyway, anyway, so starring Asa Butterfield who you might recognise from Hugo, Samuel Jackson, Eva Green, Chris O'Dowd. Um, um, this is a new Tim Burton film. I'm a massive Tim Burton fan, so I felt like I had to run out and see it before I flew out. Um, so I went to a preview screening last night. I've also read the book a few years ago, which I quite enjoyed, although I did think it had a few flaws. Um, overall, though, I did have quite a lot of fun, but then it was my favourite genre of movie, which is the kind of creepy kids film with a bit adventure thrown in. Um, I did think though that there was a little bit too much crammed into this film and I think it could have done to be a little bit sparser. Um, pros though, as always with Tim Burton, it looked utterly gorgeous. There are some really cool set pieces. Um, there's a bit with a pier fairground and snow. Um, there's this really lovely location that's like a 60s um, picket fence kind of house and the actual interior of it I just want to steal for myself. Other things I really enjoyed though, um, I really thought the stop motion sequences that are thrown in here and there were lots of fun. Um, there's a quite cool character I like quite a lot who's kind of the baddie who reanimates stuff like you know the parts which kind of seems a bit referential to Tim Burton creating his weird creatures. Um, other things I liked, uh, well I did think it's better than some of Tim Burton's recent movies, as I say I'm a massive fan but it has been with Patchy recently although I thought Big Eyes, his last film, film was amazing. Obviously Frank and Weenie stop motion, excellent. Um, let's talk about cons then, so just overall too much happens, they need to strip back and make it a little bit more basic for me because there are some really nice elements in there but at the end it just totally descends into anarchy. Um, found the baddies a little bit campy and it seemed a bit offset. I wasn't sure about them. Character-wise, I didn't really think there were that many great characters. I found them a little bit one-dimensional, um, even though they looked fun. Um, but they did kind of fall into Tim Burton's staple, like particularly the, the romantic interest, who's this girl who can float off into the sky, but she's got kind of Alice in Wonderland dress, and she's massive eyes and pastel hair, and then these huge rougher boots that you can just imagine a goth in Hot Topic wanting to buy. Um, other problems, I, I think that perhaps it's a little gory for its target demographic. The baddies actually suck eyeballs out of people, which I think for kids is a bit much. Um, there's also a reanimated corpse, and some of my favourite films do have reanimated corpses, like Paranorman, another stop motion, um, Stardust, but I still think that's a little bit bad taste for children, really. Um, I mean, it seems quite loyal to the book, but the book, as I say, I think has a couple of problems. Overall, though, I think I'd like to see it again. I'm kind of on the fence. Um, any movies that has a sequence where there are some reanimated skeletons fighting to rave music on a snow-covered pier fairground with um, a carousel unicorn used as a weapon, I think that that's probably a film that I need to watch again because it's definitely got some... Pros, I, I do imagine that it probably isn't going to be super popular with the critics. Um, I think the kids will, if they don't get scared off, probably quite enjoy it. But what did you guys think? Do you like it as much as I did? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel again. Apologies that I couldn't do a slightly more high quality review, but um, yeah, need some masks and all that. And I, I love Tim Burton so much, I just had to get this out to you guys right now. Anyway, speak to you guys soon. Let me know what you think. Get the comments as always. Subscribe to the channel and see you from Tampa.